Hi, this is Samia from Arabian Child, and today we're going to be talking about a topic that I know every mother and father have thought about, the effect of electronic games on children. So here's the most important five ways that children are affected through electronic games. Effect number one, it changes the way our children think. So when children are playing with electronic games, they're forced to be open to different kinds of stimuli and that affects the wiring of their brain. It's like a search engine, when you become better and better at searching for information, but then you become less able to retain that information. So electronic games really decreases children's ability to memorize. In addition, when children are playing with electronic games, they're kind of paying attention to different aspects of the game at the same time, and that increases their ability to kind of pay attention to detail, but also it decreases the ability to pay attention and or think about something more deeply. So fast forward in the future, when they're kind of faced with, with a problem where they have to think about it deeply, sometimes they'll even feel mental pain trying to just focus on one thing and be able to come up with a solution for a problem or a challenge. Change number two, electronic games changes the way our children feel and it changes the way they empathize towards other people as well. So they did this study with sixth graders where they took two groups of children and they isolated one of the groups from electronic games for two weeks. The group that was isolated, when they came back, they were better able to notice nonverbal cues and emotions of other people. Now, empathy is really, really powerful. And you have to remember that empathy is really connected to bullying. So children who are more empathetic and they are more kind, not only experience less bullying, but they also have stronger social emotional intelligence and better academic attainment. Number three, the effect of electronic games on happiness. Now, I know what you're thinking. So you're thinking I'm going to say that children who play electronic games have decreased level of happiness, but actually the opposite is true. They found a study that proved that children who play electronic games casually do feel reduced amount of stress and they're generally in a better mood. And to understand that, you really need to understand the psychological impact of electronic games. Electronic games gives this potential self-worth to children. So imagine you're watching a Star Wars movie and you kind of doze off while you're watching the movie. Well, whether or not you doze off or go to sleep or not, the endings of the movie still this stays the same, right? So Death Star eventually does blow up. But when you're playing the game, it puts the power into the hands of the children. So it gives them that ability to feel more powerful and more have more self-worth so you really have to understand that aspect of the game to find out why children are so inclined to be wanting to play more and more with electronic games so number four electronic games affects privacy and safety of children and this one is really important because cyber criminals and perpetrators, they're not just waiting for our kids in dark alleys. They're trying to work and be in areas where they have access to vulnerable children. And they don't immediately ask for personal information. They lure or groom the children. They become children themselves and they become the children's friend. So you know that feeling where, oh, he's the only one that really understands me they try to develop this personal relationship with the child and then they ask to chat with them privately and then ask for personal information so make sure you really get to know the types of games that your kids are playing and talk to your children about this and remind them to always have very very safe passwords and also never to download the cheats because you, those usually have viruses in them as well
Number five, electronic games and obesity. Now we know in general terms that obesity is rising among children. And a lot of people think that it's because of the types of foods that children eat, and that is true. But as well as that, it's the kind of electronic games that are requiring our children to kind of sit and just play with those games rather than be active and be outside and be more physical. So now what? After listening to all of those different effects or challenges that electronic games place on children, what can you do? So my biggest and most important advice to parents is not to say no, because only controlling or limiting electronic games won't always solve the problem. You have to think in a more strategic manner. Try to investigate what is it exactly the reason that's motivating your child to play those electronic games. And we talked about some of those issues today. Is it building that self-worth? Is it making those relationships online with other people? Or is it just because they don't have anything else to do? Now I know as parents, and we're all guilty of that, we want them to play with those games so that we can have time to socialize or to do the other million things that tasks that we have on our to-do list as well. But you also have to think about in a more holistic manner to give them an alternative and keep them busy so that they can naturally reduce the amount of time that they're playing with electronic games. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I would love to hear your comments and ideas for other topics that we can talk about. All the links to the studies that we mentioned in today's video will be in the description below. And remember to visit Arabian Child for more information. Thank you.